Now entering the studio are today's contestants. An airline pilot, originally from East Aurora, New York, Clyde Air. A teacher, originally from Cranston, Rhode Island, Jim Berkowitz. And our returning champion, a physician assistant from Port Byron, New York, Janelle Kaufman, whose one-day cash winnings total $4,100. And now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Thank you, Johnny. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome again to Jeopardy. Well, although our returning champion, Janelle, did not earn all that much money, $4,100, as you just heard, on our last show, she began what could culminate in five consecutive wins as she tries to become a five-time undefeated champion in order to qualify for our Tournament of Champions next year. But Jim and Clyde are going to have something to say about that because that's their ambition also. So good luck to all three of you. We'll put the board in motion and we'll get right into this first round of Jeopardy! for today. This is the round in which there will be the one daily double only to help you out. Here are the categories. Gone fishing. Lakes and rivers, that's a good place to go fishing. Superstitions. Ice cream. Careers. And finally, tea time, with T in quotation marks, and that means that that will be the first letter of all the correct responses in the category. Janelle, you go first. Superstition for 100, please. First clue in superstitions. A horseshoe is considered lucky partly because its shape resembles the crescent phase of this. Clyde. What is the moon? You're right. Superstitions for 200, Alex. If after a wedding, an unmarried girl sleeps with this under her pillow, she'll dream of her future mate. Janelle. What is a piece of cake? Piece of the wedding cake. You're right. It'll be sloppy in bed, though. <laughs> Go again. Superstitions for 300, please. White specks on these have certain meanings, and you should never trim yours on a Friday. Clyde. What are your fingernails? You're right. Superstitions for 400, please. It's unlucky to bring a pram into the house before this happens. Clyde again. What is before the baby is born? You're correct. Superstitions for 500. Actors consider it bad luck to speak this line of a play during rehearsal. Clyde. What is the last line of the play? You're right. That does it for superstitions. Wow. Ice cream for 100, Alex. More ice cream is consumed in this country than any other. Jim. What is the United States? You're go you got it. Let's try ice cream for 200. Day of the week on which Americans consume the most ice cream. Janelle. What is Saturday? Sorry. Jim. What is Sunday? Sunday, that's it. Uh, let's try ice cream for 300. 14th century explorer who brought back a recipe for a type of ice cream from China. Jim. Who is Marco Polo? Correct. Ice cream for 400. Ice cream cones were first served at the 1904 World's Fair in this city. Clyde. What is St. Louis? That's right. Ice cream for 500. The addition of this ingredient distinguishes French ice cream from other types. Clyde. What are eggs? Eggs, egg yolks, yes. Lakes and rivers for 100, please. Lakes and rivers for one. The famous bridge on Lake Havasu in Arizona formerly spanned this river. Jim. What is the Thames? Correct. Lakes and rivers for 200, please. Famous lake which occupies the caldera of Mount Mazama, an extinct volcano in Oregon. Jim. What is Crater Lake? Right again. Uh, lakes and rivers for 300, please. The Jefferson, Gallatin, and Madison rivers meet in Montana, forming this major river. Clyde. What is the Columbia? Sorry, that's wrong. Jim. What is the Missouri River? Missouri, you got it. Lakes and rivers for 400, please. It takes two hands and one extra digit to count this group of lakes in west central New York. Clyde. What are the Finger Lakes? Yes. R lakes and rivers for 500, please. The world's longest overwater highway spans this lake in southeastern Louisiana. Clyde. What is Lake Pontchartrain? Pontchartrain is good for $500 more, and that takes you up to $2,800. You're in the lead. Jim is in second place with $1,200, and Janelle has no money as yet, but she's our returning champ, so we're expecting good things from her, and we'll find out if we get them when we return to the match after this break. <laughs> Suck it to me. <laughs> what made us laugh 20 years ago? In the extra tonight, Tim Fox continues his look back at the year 1968. Tonight, political satire then and now. And in Family Health Tonight, Grandma's House, where a few lucky babies with AIDS have found a home. I'm Peggy Finnegan. I hope you'll join us for Central New York tonight at 11. Could you spend $25,000 in 9 hours and 40 minutes? All you need is this, the Y94 FM North Star Bank $25,000 Fantasy Charge Card. Win it on Y94 FM and you're set for a once-in-a-lifetime spend-as-you-like shopping spree. Here's all you do. 
Just listen to Y94 FM tomorrow morning at 7.15. You could win instant cash, plus your chance at the $25,000 fantasy charge card. Somebody's going to win. It might as well be you. Listen at 7.15 tomorrow morning on Y94 FM. Combos. Combos. Bite size food. Real food. Real fast. Combos. Combos. The real food you love on the go at last. Combos. 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 Outside cracker. Inside made with cheese. Or pretzel on the outside. If you please. Or just as delicious as another kind. Cracker with real peanut butter inside. Bite size food. Real food. Real fast. Combos. 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 And you remember that sunny weekend we wanted? Well, these storm clouds will bring rain, rain, and more rain. So if you had any beach plans, forget them. It's going to be a cold, wet weekend. Well, That's there's the always a sale at Zare. There's a sale going on now at Zare that will brighten your day with boys and toddlers summer shorts and tops. 25% off assorted outdoor games. Zare has sales throughout the store. Great little radio, $7.99. Save on picnic paper goods, plus super specials on so much more. So come in and save, because there's always a sale at Zare. I suppose it's appropriate that the first player we introduced, whose name is Claude Air, happens to be an airline pilot and was also a graduate of the United States Air Force Academy? That's right, Alex. Colorado Springs? Yes. Pretty campus. Sure Big is. mess hall. I had lunch there with all the guys. I don't know how many they crowd in there. But Seats over 4,000. 4,000. Everybody got served on time and they all get out in, what, 30 minutes? At least. How long did you spend in the Air Force after leaving the I Academy? was on active duty for uh, 10 years, Alex, and I still serve with the Air National Guard. All right. Obviously, you have a great love of flying. Sure do. You have a very busy airstrip right near the academy. All those guys practicing in those little planes. That's right. All right. Nice having you with us. You play the game well, too. Thank you. Jim Berkowitz, originally from Cranston, Rhode Island, a teacher who is now living here in California? Yeah, in Sherman Oaks. When you moved here, which was not all that long ago, less than a year ago? Yeah, February. You d you've done something that in 14 years I have never done, and that is get close to the Hollywood sign. You did even I more than that. Yeah, I climbed up the hill that leads to the Hollywood sign on Little Trail. That you can sort of see if you look at the Hollywood sign. You can. But, uh, well, you have to sort of squint to see it, but it's a tiny trail. Nice. The letters are huge, though. They're, they are. They're five, six stories high. Did you have your picture taken up there? Uh, no. No? But I remember it real well, so. Okay. <laughs> Good luck to you. Janelle Kaufman is our champion. She's from Syracuse, New York. I understand your family's involved in horse breeding. Uh, no, we raise horses and we train horses, but we don't breed oh, horses. Oh, you don't breed them. Okay, no. there is a difference. What kind of horses do you train? We have just three right now. My husband is a percher on draft horse. So he's training now, and I keep a riding horse and my son's pony. Right. But at various times, my husband takes horses, trains them, sends them home. What would you train a percher on draft horse to do? He, she rides, and she drives, and she works. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. It'd be kind of fun riding a horse that big. They say if your legs like this. Built for comfort. <laughs> yeah, you'd have to. Very bold-legged. Yes. All right, let's go to work. Clyde, you gave us the last correct question, so you'll select, please. Yeah, let's try careers for 100, please. First clue is, a master of a merchant marine ship is most commonly known as this. Clyde? What is the captain? That's right. Careers for 200. Glaziers cut, fit, and install this. Janelle? What is glass? That's right. Careers for 300. In working up the railroad ladder, firemen usually work as these before becoming conductors. Clyde? What are brakemen? No. Jim or Janelle? What are engineers? Janelle, we go back to you for the next choice. Career for 400. In a movie theater, these two people work in booths. Jim? Who are the ticket seller and the projectionist. That's right. Careers for 500, please. It's the primary field of business which employs people called actuaries. Janelle? What is the insurance business? That's good for $500 more. Tea time for 100, please. First clue, one word, domesticated. Jim? What is trained? Mm, yeah, we'll accept that. Trained or tamed. Okay. Select uh, again. Tea time for 200, please. The answer is a cargo ship constructed to carry liquid in bulk. Jim? What is a tanker? That's it. Tea time for 300, please. It's a set of 78 cards which depict vices, virtues, and elemental forces. Clyde? What is tarot? Yes. Tea time for 400, please. Answer there <laughs> is an audio <laughs> There's an opportunity for you to increase your lead, Clyde. You've got 2,900 right now. I'll wager 500, Alex. $500 in tea time. Let me give you the music first and then the clue. The clue is clothing mentioned in the title of the following. Listen. 
What is a tuxedo? A tuxedo, yes. The team is very popular. Tuxedo Junction. You're up to 3,400. Go again. We've got a minute to go. Tea time for 500, please. Lukewarm as coffee that sat too long. Clyde. What is tepid? Tepid. tepid. Right. Gone fishing for 100, please. I Alex. wondered when we go fishing. Let's take a look. The fish sold as scrawd are usually young haddock or these fish which rhyme with scrawd. Clyde. What is cod? Yep. Gone fishing for 200, please. Most valuable commercial fishing on the Mississippi River involves catching these. Jim. What is catfish? Correct. I'll go on fishing for 300, please. When the grunion are running in this U.S. state, people catch them with their bare hands. Clyde? What is Washington state? Sorry, that's incorrect. Big grunion run is right here in Southern California. Back to you, Jim. Uh, go on fishing for 400, please. The bluefin type of this fish has been called the king of ocean game, but it's canned, not crowned. Clyde. What is tuna? That's it. And the last clue, let's take a look at it. The name of these relatives of minnows is derived from their thick lips, which vacuum the stream floor. What are... Suckers. Suckers. Uh, all right, Clyde's got $2,000 more than Jim, and Janelle has $700, and we have come to our second commercial break. During this break, we'll set the board up for double jeopardy. DJ time, right after this. McDonald's presents a super summer for your girls and boys. Buy them a super summer Happy Meal. They'll get a super summer toy. I got a ball for the beach. That made her smile. Or get this inflatable boat. I'll see you for a mile. There's a happy pail to fill way up. This pail makes a castle for my pup. Or get this neat mold. I'm making shapes in the sand. Collect all five toys. Make summer grand. McDonald's super summer Happy Meal. Hurry, don't delay. Before you know it, summer's gone away. Hills has a big selection of fuller figure fashions, more than any store we know of, in everything from shoes to intimate apparel. You'll find fashion at Hills. Exciting fashion is one reason I shop Hills. Whether I need a swimsuit, casual clothes, or just about anything, I can get clothes that are always in style. So if it's fashion you want, just look for this tag. And remember, Hills has low prices every day and the fuller figure fashions to prove it. Act now. Lazy Boy Showcase Shop's semi-annual trade-in sale is now in progress. Any of your old or uncomfortable chairs, regardless of condition, is worth $120 off the Lazy Boy suggested retail price of over 1,000 genuine Lazy Boy recliners in stock. Trade up to Lazy Boy comfort and style. Your satisfaction is guaranteed. Now save at least $120 when we pick up your old chair and deliver your new Lazy Boy recliner. Don't miss this exclusive trade-in offer at the Lazy Boy Showcase Shops in DeWitt, North Syracuse, and Fairmount. For years, Americans have tried to acquire a taste for health food. At last, health food has finally acquired taste. Introducing the Healthy Deli, cold cuts only from Hansel and Gretel. The new American health food for the 80s and well into the 90s. The Healthy Deli, cold cuts only from Hansel and Gretel. Ask for it at your deli counter. challenge is off to a very good start today, so the other two players have their work cut out for them in this double Jeopardy round. Two daily doubles in this round. Dollar figures. Categories. American Wars. Music Theory. Foreign Films. Computers. Poetry. And finally, Mortal Matters. Sounds ominous and sinister. Janelle, you go first. You're in third place. Poetry for 200. The first clue is... Great Scott, who wrote to a mouse, to a louse, and to a mountain daisy. Janelle. Who is Sir Walter Scott? No, sorry. Jim or Clyde? Who is that fast enough? Who is the great Robbie Burns? To a mouse. Janelle, you select again. Poetry for 400. Keats wrote a whole poem about seeing these famous marbles. What were the Elgin marbles? Now found in the British Museum. Janelle? American War for 200. Thought you might want to change categories. <laughs> we don't know what caused this ship to sink, but we remember it helped cause the Spanish-American War. Jim. What is the main? That's it. American Wars for 400, please. On July 4th, 1917, newly arrived doughboys were wildly greeted while parading in this European capital. 
Jim. What is Paris? Correct again. American Wars for 600. Middle please. of the column. We have the first of two daily doubles in the sky. There's a great opportunity for you, Jim. If you make it a true daily double, you will be in the lead all by yourself with a considerable margin. Uh, I'll bet $1,500, please. For $1,500 for a narrow lead, if you are correct, in American Wars, your clue. War during which Colonel George Washington supervised the burial of General Edward Braddock. What are the French and Indian Wars? You got it. Nice going. You're in the lead. You have a total of $4,200. Go again. American Wars for 800, please. The answer, General William Howe was knighted for his victories during the early part of this war. Janelle. What is the Revolutionary War? Correct. American Wars for 1,000. In 1861, this California pathfinder headed Union forces in the West. Janelle. Who is Kit Carson? No, sorry. Jim or Clyde? Who is John Fremont? Janelle, you select. Computers for 200, please. The answer is the initials IBM stand for this. Clyde. What is international business machine? Right. Uh, music theory for 200, please, Alex. The answer? To indicate play softly, piano is abbreviated P, and very softly, pianissimo, this way. Clyde? What is PP? PP, right. Music theory 400. Of the beginning, middle, or end of a work where you'd find a coda. Clyde. What is at the end? Right. Music theory for 600. Term for the sign canceling a previous flat or sharp in that measure. Clyde. What is a natural? Right again. Music theory for 800, please. Ledger lines are added above or below this to show the pitch of notes that don't fall within it. Janelle. What is the staff? Correct. Mortal matters for 200. The answer. In Hansel and Gretel, the witch was burnt to a crisp after Gretel pushed her into this. Clyde. What is the oven? Yes. Uh, music theory for 1,000, please. The distance in pitch between two tones is called this. Clyde. What is a whole step? No. Jim or Janelle? What is the interval? Clyde, we go back to you. Uh, computers for 400, please, Alex. Answer. The boss button takes this off your screen if the boss comes by, replacing it with data. Jim. What is a game? Correct. Uh, computers for 600, please. This easy language was devised in 1965 at Dartmouth College. Clyde? What is basic? That's right. Computers for 800, please. The U.S. Census Bureau destroyed these from the 1930 census, so they have no way to check the figures. They destroyed the punch cards. Clyde, back to you. Uh, computers for 1,000, please. Though it's part of most computers, it was designed in the 1870s by Scholes and Glidden. Jim? What is the keyboard? You're right. Keyboard layout. Mortal matters for 400, please. Back to that one. Hundreds of bog mummies in Europe were naturally preserved by burial in this kind of bog. Clyde. What is a peat bog? Right. Mortal matters for 600, please. This emperor was killed in 1520. Some say by the Spaniards, some say by the Aztecs. Jim. Who is Montezuma? Right. Mortal matters for 800, please. A traditional burial place for the Dutch royal family. This town is more famous for its blue pottery. Janelle. What is Delft? Correct. Mortal matters for 1,000. Mythical half-human creature killed by Theseus. Jim. Who is the Medusa? No. Clyde or Janelle? Clyde. Who is the Minotaur? The Minotaur, yes. Perseus killed yeah. the Medusa. Clyde, back to you. Foreign films for 200, please. Answer. The story of a 12-year-old boy coming of age, my life as a dog, is from this country. Sweden. Clyde? Foreign films for 400, please, Alex. It was a delightful film, by the way. For its American release, this Australian film sequel was retitled The Road Warrior. Jim? What is Mad Max 2? Correct. Uh, foreign films for 600, please. Among films Toshiro Mifune made with this director are Rashomon and The Seven Samurai. Jim? Who is Akira Kurosawa? That's right. Foreign films for 800, please. He is starred in Werner Herzog's Aguirre, The Wrath of God, Nosferatu, and Fitzcarraldo. Jim? Who's Klaus Kinski? That is right. Foreign films for 1,000, please. Last clue in that form is... The last daily double in this round. You've got $300 more than five. How much of that 7,000 do you want to risk on yourself in foreign films, Jim? Uh, I think just 200. $200. <laughs> All right, you still want to have the lead if yeah. you are wrong. I know you're thinking. Here's the clue for you, then. One of the two recent French hit films based on Marcel Pagnol's novel, The Water of the Hills. What is Manion of the Spring? Manon of the Spring, Jean de Florette was the other one. Nice going. You now have $500 more than Clyde. And we have three more clues in the poetry category. Okay, Which one would you like to for, see? Poetry for 600. Thomas Hardy's The Convergence of the Twain commemorates this disaster of April 14, 15, 1912. 
Jim? What is the sinking of the Titanic? That is correct. Poetry for 800, please. In the poem named for her, Edgar Lee Masters called her beloved in life of Abraham Lincoln. Clyde? Who is Mary Todd Lincoln? Sorry, that's wrong. Jim or Janelle? Janelle is trying, running it through her brain, not in time. Who is Anne Rutledge? Yeah. Let's take a look at the last clue for $1,000 in poetry. A.E. Houseman called this the loveliest of trees. And I think he may well be right. The cherry tree. The cherry tree. All right, that wraps up Double Jeopardy. Jim in the lead, 7,800. Clyde in second place, 5,900. Janelle had difficulty today. She was getting going and then would falter back. She winds up with 1,900. A reminder to all three of you that the player who winds up with the most cash at the end of Final Jeopardy will be the champion. The others get to enjoy these prizes. Today's second place contestant will receive charming solid oak oak town dining furniture by Keller. The look and feel of solid oak with hand glazed glowing antique finish. Beautiful country design oak town by Keller. And breakfast will be cheerful with this delightful set of naive for eight from Villaroy and Bach. Each piece features a charming country scene from Villaroy and Bach. Today's third place contestant will receive the dependable Maytag washer and dryer you've always wanted. Choose side by side or stacked upright. Same size, same long lasting Maytag dependability. And all contestants receive the Jeopardy box game to play at home. Once again, here's Alex. We'll do a quick verification of our scores to be sure we're absolutely right during the commercial break. And in that time, our contestants will think about their wagers based on this final Jeopardy category. Historic homes. We'll be back with a clue after this. Around my house, it doesn't matter what I clean with. But Mommy says it's different in the real world. These ordinary cleaners just clean, but a Lysol cleaner cleans and disinfects. With Lysol, our kitchen doesn't just seem clean, it, it is clean. clean. Take cleaning one step further with Lysol deodorizing cleaner. I confess, I can't stop. I just can't stop. It smells so good, I just can't stop spraying. <laughs> Lysol Fresh Scent smells as good as it works. No, take the last one. I can make another batch. Kellogg's Rice Krispies Treats. You can rip up a chewy no-bake batch in minutes. However, nobody has to know that but you. I know how you love them, so I don't mind the work. Besides, Rice Krispies Treats certainly taste like somebody slaved over them. Really? It's no bother. Rice Krispies Treats. So good, it's hard to believe how easy they are. It's worth any amount of trouble. As long as it makes you happy. <laughs> continues when we return with Final Jeopardy next. Pizza Hut, making it great. With Pizza Hut carryout special. Now, two delicious medium pan pizzas to go. Bubbling with cheese, just $10.99. And toppings, $1.29 each covers both pizzas. Making it hot, making it twice. Getting it fast and loving the price. Now America's favorite pizza is making a great carryout deal. Two medium cheese pan pizzas to go, only $10.99. At toppings, $1.29 each covers both pizzas. Pizza Hut, making it great. I went to the cupboard and what did I see? Peanut butter, peanut butter. Following peanut butter could be trouble for me. taste of Peter Pan comes in a plastic jar. So even if you do drop it, it won't shatter. Eat some peanut butter anytime you can. Only if it's Peter Pan. If you have an interest in new home furnishings. I do. But have no interest in interest charges. That's right. You won't want to miss Goldberg's no interest sale. Now that's interesting. Buy all the furniture, appliances, carpeting, and accessories you want for your home now. And Goldberg's gives you 12 months to pay, interest-free. You've got my interest. Goldberg's no interest sale. Now at all seven great Goldberg's. Historic Homes, that's our final Jeopardy category. The players have made their wagers. The scores are correct. In a moment, I give you the clue. You then have 30 seconds in which to write down your question. Remember to phrase it properly. Final Jeopardy answer today is this. His Virginia estate, Montpelier, was finally opened to the public in 1987 in celebration of the Constitution. Good luck.
private home until 1983. They did some refurbishing. Let's find out if our contestants came up with the right name. We're going to start with our returning champion. Janelle, what did you put down? Who is James Madison? You're absolutely right. What's that going to do to your score? Double it to 3,800. Let's move down the line to Clyde Ayer. He had 5,900. What did he put down? Who is Tom? Oh, no. That's Monticello. Let's see how much you lost. 5,900. We'll go to the middle to Jim Berkowitz. He had 7,800. His response was, who is James Madison? He's right. He's going to be our new champion with how much money? $4,000. Big payoff for you. 11,800, Jim. Congratulations. You're the new Jeopardy champion. And I want to thank our other contestants for a super match. We've got to go. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, Alex Trebek for all of us. See you next time. Bye. -bye. Today's second and third place contestants will receive McElhenney Tabasco sauce. Great on everything from stir fry to chicken pot pie and then some. Yeah, the lively taste of Tabasco sauce. Don't keep it bottled up. Dallas Cologne and Aftershave as dynamic and take charge as a Texas power dealer and just as smooth. Dallas, the new men's cologne that plays to win. Revolutionary Wella So Fine Shampoo Mist. Just mist, lather up, and rinse. The pure essence of shampoo. Wella So Fine Shampoo Mist. For lovelier legs and underarms, Bikini Bear Lotion Depilatory, and our unique applicator remover with mild friction for quicker, more thorough hair removal. When you treat minor cuts, scrapes, burns, and insect bites, you'll find Hospital Formula Americane helps stop the pain and itching fast. Shout! Now improved with 25% more cleaning power. Want a tough stain out? Shout it out. 